Buffalo started the season so well, then Craig Anderson, their 40-year-old netminder, was injured, and they've struggled since. They stopped a four-game losing streak last night as Larkin circles the goal. Larkin the slot for Bertuzzi, oh. the shot. Jeez. That came oh so close. Tyson Jeez. for Hokahara. Oh. Did he ever get hit hard? Did he ever? Smith, by who would you think? Good yep. clean hit, too. Here's Zadina, cuts back to the middle. Oh, and a toe save there by Tokarski. Get your line changed and then keep her going. Turnover inside the Saber zone. Detroit forced that. Right in front of Tokarski, kicked away. Mastikoff circling the net. Oh. And went off Ernie's skate. Couldn't get a stick on it. Rasmussen over to pick it up. Ernie, quick shot. Saved by Tokarski. Oh. Through the middle comes Dylan Cousins. The seventh overall pick in 19 goes wide with it. Oh, goal post. Oh, he had the dunk a bit, surprised, but rang the iron. Surprised him because he didn't he didn't stop skating. Mm -hmm. Scoring chances come from it, you know. Larkin able to get that look at that smooth little pass there and then gets it back. Bertuzzi gives it to him. Back to Bertuzzi across oh. to Raymond. Wow. Bertuzzi back of the net. Olison played it, gets it back. Olison now to Dalene. Top of the right circle. Moves right into the clock. Right in. And a save made there by Nadelka. The best chance for Buffalo in this game. And was so good in getting the Revens a victory against St. Louis, who had wonderful chances, but marvelous saves. Stopped them. Oh, Ooh. and Rasmussen took that one on a shot from Stahl that got through to Tokarski off Rasmussen. I wonder if he got hit with the shot can or he got a slash in the ankle. We'll have to see here. And that's why one of his teammates... Uh, Could have been a slash. I have a feeling he got hacked. Yeah. Well, one penalty for each team here, not just Rasmussen, as uh, Hague in front gets cross-checked in the back by Rasmussen right there. No question about that call. They're trying to cut down on that kind of stuff. They call it interference with the cross-check. And then look at this. There's a BC two-hander for sure on Hague right over the back of the shoulder. <laughs> Jeez, one hand or not, right on the back of the knee. And that sends Rasmussen to the uh, dressing room. Round and serve. Roundy yep. serves the penalty, so... Ronick has to come back again. Zadina to Pap. For Zadina, shot and a save made by a sliding to Karski. Here's Raymond across and Bertuzzi oh, and that stop. was stopped by Tokarski and a good save. It'll be his best of the night. Olison across. No one there for Buffalo. Ernie crossing a hit a leg on a Rasmussen attempt and confident. Playing really well. Here's Letty in front for Tuzzi. Oh, save made. Larkin Reba. Oh, oh and down to Karski. What did that hit? Come on. This is a pretty good save on the redirect. What did this one hit? Did it hit for Tuesday's skate? Oh my goodness, yeah. Ouch. Way comes Nemestikov. Shoot it. Oh, jeez. He missed the net. Intercepted here by Oposa. Up along with Dylan Cousins. Drop one back in for Cousins. And it's in the back of the net. Sabres worked that beautifully. Well, they sure did. And that came right on the heels of an absolute triple-A scoring chance by Nemestikov right here. Where does it go? Oh, my goodness. He just sailed it over top of the net. They were pretty much hemmed in their own zone. Didn't get anything to go offensively at all. There's a high stick. Somebody. Shooter goes down and goes to the bench. Cousins is in. And a save there by Nadelkovich. There it is right in oh. front of the net. And Nadelkovic couldn't hold it. Skinner's on it. Intercepted by Letty. Raymond on Dalene And a break here. Larkin with Bertuzzi. Catching up Peronic. Bertuzzi fan the whole look out. Oh, Heavy into the boards. Puck right beside him. Thompson taken away by Dylan Larkin. From Tage Thompson. Bertuzzi seems okay. Flipped it ahead. Pressure coming back from Rowney. Carter Rowney at center. He has it. On the wing for Gagne. Across for Lindstrom. Back in front of the net. And they score! <laughs> Buffalo will look to challenge on this, but the Red Wings for now have tied the game 1-1 midway through.
Well, there was a major traffic jam in the crease as Don Granato looks at his replay behind the bench. He'll be talking to his people in the dressing room looking at this. Was there goalie interference enough to challenge or not? Rowney goes to the front. There's the shot. Okay, uh, we'll have to look at this a couple of times. Goaltender's down. He kicks it in with his left pad, his left skate. Uh, I don't think they're challenging this one, and it's a 1-1 game. Manufacture of the enthusiasm the Red Wings do by themselves. Here's Fabry in front. The second period. Sedina scores for the season unassisted. 9.56 second period. Right now it's Sedina unassisted. But remember the other night before we left, Sedina had an assist after the game. They yeah. took it away a second time and gave it to Letty. So who knows? There's a shot by Sider. Puck losing it. Yep. They score! Sider! Now, another one they're going to probably look at maybe a little more seriously. The goaltender right away. There goes them at the bench, see? He's screaming at big Giovanni Smith, 6'2", 220, standing right in front of him. So, you be the ref. He's outside the, well, he's in the crease now. I mean, not enough. Matty Ellis there with him. Matty Ellis, remember Matty Ellis, yeah. the Red Wings? Yeah. yeah. Not enough to challenge it, possibly lose and put yourself short-handed and the game's over if the team scores. Two goals, 119 apart. There they go again. Bertuzzi to the net. Boy, Tavarski's going to be worn out. Build around them when they had Ryan O'Reilly, but didn't work out. Yes, it's a culture there that Detroit has, for the most part, been able to maintain the culture. Giovanni Smith back of the net. Up on the second line tonight. Where he played some of the last game against St. Louis. Here's Sudo with Johnny Gopos. Inside. Good work by Rasmussen. Aronik has to hustle. And he got over. Oh, did he ever get smashed? And right away, Oposo knew. Oposo knew. He reached down saying, that was awkward. I did not mean to do that. Well, it was an awkward situation because Aronik was scrambling to save the play. And he got on his toes and a, a, a Buffalo player right on his back and then next thing you know he goes head first into the board that hurts just watching it but Oposo reacted right away See that it was, it was a shot but off balance was heronic all the weight ended up in the front part of his blades and the toes and uh, boom Sider able to knock it down. Makes the play to Larkin. Looming around. Back to Sider. The shot wide. Oh, oh and out oh. the other way. Bertuzzi couldn't bury that. Open net for Bertuzzi. Back it comes for Raymond. Gets the return feed from Sider. The two rookies play catch. Raymond down low. Bertuzzi in front. Saved by Toparski. Good stop. Saved by Tokarski, penalty over. Oposo out of the box. Intercepted by Eakin. Three Sabres are up. Good play, Letty to knock it down. Three Red Wings come back. Ernie, Suter, played it to the corner. Side of the goal, Zadina. Looks to the line, Heronik. Gets it back to Zadina. Pulls it back, and a save, Tokarski, and he pulls it in to hold on. Rowney and Suter, the goal scores to offset the 1-0 Sabres lead from Dylan Cousins. Buffalo 3-9-1, they're past 13. But a long stretch pass for Skinner. Up with Olison. Skinner in. Blocked. Good play, Osterley. Ahead in Nemestikov for Rasmussen. Ahead for Nemestikov, game 500. Nice play there, back for Gagne. Point to Stahl. Save made. Remember, he's still a rookie. Still classifies. Into the slot for Tuzzi. And a save by Tukarski. Lindstrom for Larkin. The shot, the save, and the rebound for Tuzzi. Knocked down. Larkin's got it. Back to stall. 
Lindstrom toward the net. Loose puck. Oh, Toparski again. Larkin. He's tired but hangs in. Larkin still battling. Looked exhausted a moment ago. Still makes the play to Osterley. Tipped in front of the net. Loose puck. Knocked out of the air by a pound to Karski. The fans have a lot to do with the energy the team plays with. It's turning into a great home ice advantage for them. And the atmosphere is second to none. He's giving the fans credit for the energy and a couple of wins in the win column so far, guys. We just added to the energy, I think, Mick. I hope so. I hope so. It's been a quiet Saturday night for usual here at LCA. They're still, still going. singing. <laughs> we started 9 o'clock on a Saturday here with the fans. It'll be over by 10. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're still going. They're it's loving it. It's good. It's a place Just to come and have Trevor fun. was speaking of. Sure. Yeah. On face-offs. Just what we were talking about earlier, and they've been very good tonight. Nemesnikov. To the Whoa. goal. Wow. Didn't get through. Tokarski was down, and Rasmussen right at the lip of the crease. Couldn't bury it. Well, he sure would like to do that with a two-goal lead. He shoots the puck well enough, I'll Sure does. Look out now the guy. Sabres control. Shot got blocked. Oh, Knocked away by Nadalkovic to the corner. Dalene with a shot blocked in front. Eakin came up with it again. Gets it again. The shot, they score! Tipped in front, Skinner. Skinner. Well, there you go. It's exactly what everybody was afraid of here with a one-goal game. Boy, oh boy. Bit of 37, goalie on the bench. They get control, Skinner the tip. Paige Thompson against Dylan Larkin. Rasmussen goes right off. And on comes Raymond. And this is where you want to catch somebody that's got, the, like Larkin, when he's on the fly. He's got the good speed, and he can beat people with that speed. Leaves it there for Raymond. Takes a shot, scores! Lucas Raymond! Red Wings win it 3-2! 26 seconds in. Well, one Rookie of the Year candidate won it in Buffalo over the Sabres. Another one wins it tonight in Detroit wow. over the Sabres. All the great saves that Tokarski made. Does this hit somebody? It goes through him. And he's got to be wondering what just happened. Now what I know looks like happened is Lucas Raymond used the defenseman as a screen and shot the puck right next to his leg. Did it hit him? I don't know. But it blew right through the goaltender. It could have hit the shaft of the stick. It doesn't take much. The bottom line is, it's in the net, and the game's over. Raymond from Larkin no, and Aronik, 26 seconds in. It did not, Ken. That replay right there shows it went underneath the shaft of the stick. The goaltender, all the great saves he made, and this one blows right through him. Red Wings win again in overtime. And franchise win 2,999 for this great original six franchise. John and Larry.